Hey Capricorns, welcome to your weekly love reading January 7th to the 13th. Hope you guys are doing really good. I gotta talk about your pre-shuffle <laughs> before we get into anything. I was like, oh shit. So I saw the Knight of Cups with the Ten of Cups, which is great. That's like, that's awesome sauce. So someone's coming in with the Ten of Cups, not even an ace. Well, they have an ace in their hand because they're in the night, but Ten of Cups. Whoa. So that tells me it's probably someone you already know. Because it was a knight with it, just an ace. It's like, that feels really new, right? But it's like, to bring the 10, it's like, you already would have needed some kind of foundation or history to get to a 10, right? Um, so I feel like it's someone from the past coming in to give you 10 of cups. Um, but then I saw the three of wands. This is like, you know, I put those cards back and I kept shuffling. Saw the three of wands with the queen of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, also Pisces or Scorpio. But that's Cancer, what do I say, guys? It's that well, you're one seven. That's your house of partnership. That's your partner's energy, um, regardless of their sign, with the fool in reverse. And I was like, I just got like hopeless waiting, like waiting on a hopeless situation or waiting on a, an opportunity that was just never going to come, which was really sad. And I was like, is, I was like, oh, no, I don't know. Like, what is going on here? So it's like either Capricorn or your partner, I feel like it's your partner, is sitting there waiting but they feel foolish for waiting and they're hurting because they're queen of cups in reverse. So that tells me that there's been a lot of pain and they're irritated as well. I don't know I'm getting irritation, um, but they're healing as well. And it's like waiting, 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 but it just felt hopeless with that hue of sadness, with that hue of full in reverse of foolish, like pure foolishness. Right. So it's like, is someone hopelessly waiting and they know it or are they waiting on something that'll just never happen? Like, it just didn't feel good. It didn't feel good. But at the same time, there's someone coming in with a 10, which could very well be you coming into your partner. Could very well be that. Um, but anyway, so I'm a little nervous to do your reading, but let's just get started. It goes without saying, guys, this is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will not resonate with everybody. Um, I say this in every video because apparently people don't understand that. <laughs> apparently. Um, that I can't read for every single person on the planet at the same time. Anyway, moving on. Um, neither here nor there. It's general, guys. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it's not your story, it's not your story. And that's totally fine. That is totally okay. It's not going to be your story every week. It won't be. Uh, for the most part, it won't be. Um, for those of you who are really good at energy work, I'm probably going to pick up on their stories more so than yours. So if you, just because of that's how energy works, right? So people who are really powerful or people who understand energy work, I'm, they're probably sending me their story more often than they realize. You know what I mean? So uh, if you want me to tap into your story more, or if you want to try to get me to tap into your story more, start use you know, start looking into energy work, um, start meditating more or anything of that sort. And I can probably hone in on your guys's story a lot easier but just be careful with that because i can get bombarded with a lot of messages so anyway anyway um even if it doesn't resonate guys and so, like one thing out of everything out of the whole reading does take that one thing home with you take it home with you because it probably is resonating for a reason even if the rest of it didn't apply to you um we have plenty of readers here on youtube that are really really fantastic you know sometimes looking for a reader is it's kind of like looking for a therapist. It's kind of like looking for a man or a woman. It's like, you got to go on a few dates. You got to go for a few sessions before you're like, nah, no, this ain't working for me. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with that. I take no offense with that. If you don't resonate with me, that's totally fine. No, no shade, no ill will. It's all good. Awesome sauce. Um, we are working with energy. So just know that messages can be vice versa. They can pertain to you or your partner, someone in your immediate environment that you interact with very regularly. Okay. Um, also know that the gender of the cards does not matter. Everybody has masculine and feminine energy, whether people want to accept that or not. Everyone has masculine and feminine energy. We all do. It's the yin and the yang. No one's hundred percent feminine. No one's hundred percent masculine. Just as what it is. Okay. Let's get started. Cappies. Sorry for the long intro. <laughs> <laughs> been dealing with some shit the last couple days <laughs> plus i'm feeling extra feisty from all the energy and that mars influence i'm gonna be a little feistier up until valentine's day probably any messages for capricorns january 7th to the 13th oh happy birthday cappies it's like oh yeah it's happy season any messages for my capricorns january 7th to the 13th regarding love any messages for my capricorns January 7th to the 13th regarding love. Any messages for my Capricorns? January 7th to the 13th regarding love. 
Ooh, that was quick. Okay. Any messages for my Capricorns? January 7th to the 13th regarding love. Any messages for my Capricorns? January 7th to the 13th regarding love. I can tell there's a lot of cards right there. This is going to be an interesting reading. I can feel it. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love? Ooh. January 7th to the 13th. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, this is a lot. So let me lay them all out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Let me move this. Seven, eight. Wow. That's a big fat line of eight cards. Okay. And then we have 9, 10. So 10 in total. Overall energy. King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus energy. This could also be a Capricorn, Virgo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I gotta be honest. I feel like this is your energy. Um, I really feel like this is your energy. It could easily be vice versa, guys. I gotta, I can't stress that enough. It could easily be vice versa. So... This is someone who's kind of, I gotta be honest, not in a great, not the greatest of places. So Cappies, you know, if you're doing just fine, you're probably on the other end of this of the table. But I gotta read it how I feel it, because that's the honest way of reading it. Um, so that's just how I'm gonna flow with it. So don't get confused if I'm referring to this energy as the Capricorn, if you're vice versa, okay? So I'm just feeling like, un oh God, um... It's weird. I'm feeling chaos. Never feel chaos with this card. Someone's also being really stubborn. Oh my god, like hard-headed. It's like more than just stubborn. It's hard-headed. Like outright refusing to do something that's beneficial for them just out of like, whoa, out of pride? Very Taurus-like negative energy. It's almost like they know they got to do something and they just can't, they just, they just, they're like digging their heels and they're just like, no, like they're, you're going to drag me kicking and screaming. It's kind of, it's kind of like the energy that I'm getting. Wow. That's intense. Okay. So let's look at this first line. Like I said, it's a lot of cards. So I'll show them to you one by one. And that's what I think is going on. King of Wands in reverse Leo energy could also be Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Four of Cups, Page of Swords. Uh, I almost said king. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. Star card in reverse. Aquarian energy. Ace of Swords in reverse. The Chariot, Cancerian energy. And then the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. I know it's a lot. It's quite a lot. But I gotta say, Cappies, you know, regardless of how you may be feeling. <laughs> um, there's something you really want. It's just you're it's almost like you're pissed at the way you have to go about it. That's interesting. You're, it's again, this goes to be vice versa. Um, I know people get sick of me repeating that phrase, but I have to because then people keep forgetting every like five minutes. Um, yeah, this is like, yeah, it's almost like you're going to drag me kicking and screaming. I know it's something I want. I just I don't want to do it that way is what I get is what I keep getting. I don't want to do it that way. Like whatever Cappy is is feeling like this, it's kind of like you're used to your way or the highway is what I'm getting. Um, You're mad about doing something a different way, but it's something you want. I'm like, this is like, it's the weirdest thing. OK, so let's look here. Let's look at these first three cards in that line that I showed you. This is also your energy. Like, I'm feeling pissed, pissy on this. It's like, <laughs> I'm feeling pissy on this. Um, yeah, you're, you're pissed. You're pissed that you have to go about something in a way that you don't want to go about it. But it, at the end of the day, you're going to get what you want. I'm sorry. That's life. That's life. I'm sorry. It just is. Anyway, especially when you're dealing with love and people. Like, or even, even, no, anything. No, I'm sorry. I take that back. When you work with any, when you're doing anything in life, 
You can't always do it the exact way you want to all the time. That's not how life works. But anyway, so ang anger, feeling anger and frustration, contemplating how to figure it out. But it seems like you're going to communicate a message of truth here um, is what it seems like to me. You're going to reach out to somebody. You're going to reach out to somebody. But I got to be honest, you're so irritated that I don't think it's going to come off very well. I, I get just get like a little bit of this tactless energy but it's something you've been contemplating for a while. I feel that. Remember, this goes to be vice versa. So, Cappies, you could be dealing with somebody who's like this. Um, pissed that they have to do it this way. And they're trying to reconfigure how to do it. And then they're going to bring in a message. Let's look at what this message is about. Leaves the vice versa deck. It's truthful. It's truthful. It just doesn't feel very tactful. Clarify Page of Swords. And usually when I get Page of Swords, I'm like, oh, it's sincere. It's honest. And it's honest. But I'm like, ooh, oh, that feels harsh. <laughs> it's like, did I just feel a sword go in my heart? <laughs> Clarify Page of Swords for Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Page of Swords for my Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Ooh, nice. We got the star card out here. Clarify Page of Swords for my Capricorns. January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Page of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, you're coming in defensive. Again, could be vice versa. Clarify Page of Swords. Clarify Page of Swords. I don't know why. I think some of you might be done with another Capricorn or another Earth sign. I think maybe that's why I'm like, I'm feeling compelled to say vice versa over and over and over again. I think some of you might be done with another Capricorn or a straight up Earth sign. There's a lot of Earth up in this. Oh, shit. Clarify Page of Swords for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Someone's got strong cap on their chart. So at le least one of you do. Clarify page of swords. I mean like dominating. Clarify page of swords. For Capricorn. January 7th to the 13th. Clarify page of swords. Clarify page of swords. For my Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Oh, mm -mm, I don't like where this is going. I don't like this at all. Okay, let me get these organized because we got quite a few here. Got another. Wow. There is a little bit of chaos behind this energy, guys. I just gotta be honest. And maybe it's just from the energy shifts. Maybe it's made, you know, making everyone crazy and it's probably going to be carried into the next week because whatever Capricorn has been thinking on this for so long and he's been irritated by this as well, you've been harboring it for quite a while to the point where it's like, I don't think you are going to be able to calm yourself down when you talk to this person. So overall energy, seven of swords as the overall energy for this truth. That's coming in. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Especially because there's anger behind it. And frustration because someone didn't get their way. Like literally because someone didn't get their way. Um, they're actively trying to get away with something and speaking in speaking to you. Uh, this is the other side. This is like I got away with it. This is I'm trying to get away with something. Um, trying to be sneaky. Oh. Some of them are trying to be sneaky. I got it. I got you. Most of them, it's they're trying to go about this in a different way. That could also be the Seven of Swords. It's not always deception. It's like it's doing things differently. So it's like people don't really understand it, right? Um, but I got to be honest. I still feel a little bit of sneakiness. I feel a little bit of sneakiness for some of them. You'll know. That, that's what, Okay, yeah, that's what they're telling me. When this person comes in to talk to you, you'll know if they're actually being sneaky or if it's just they're trying out a different way of, of communicating to you or approaching the situation. You'll know. You will know. So don't worry about that. But then these other cards that we have out here, we have 
the star card, Aquarian energy with the seven of wands. This is your energy, Cappy. So like the Cappies that are, like I said, I feel like some of you are dealing with another Cap. The Cappies that are um, angry that they're, they have to go about approaching the other person in a different way. Like they're upset about it because they, they're aware of their highway. Defensive, major defensive on here. This is like, I'm ready to fight. This is, I've already had, did you hear those dogs the second I said that? <laughs> um, this is, I've already fought and I'm victorious. This is, I'm ready to fight, but I don't feel like the good fight. Like I'm ready to fight for this or for you. This is like, I'm defensive because I, I I'm, I'm so irritated. And I'm so angry and they're almost expecting you to fight back. I think this person is used to very combative people. I don't know if they grew up in a combative household, but that's kind of how it's feeling. Um, but the truth is they want you. <laughs> the truth is you're their wish. They're trying to get their wish, but they're being very defensive about it because they're trying, they're getting it in a way that they don't appreciate. So stupid. It's like, sh it's like shooting the messenger. It's like, well, did you get your package? Does it matter how it came? It doesn't matter. Are you going to, you know what I mean? If it was Amazon or UPS, does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway. Now we have the lovers, Gemini energy with Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Could it be Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag? These are two lovers that are very deeply bonded and are going off into the sunset. Like, this is what this person wants. This person wants to walk off into the sunset. Well, it's not really sunset. It's already night. But you know what I mean. Walk off into the sunset with you. However, it's like, with this knight in this position, this person's already turned their back on you once before. Whoa. 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 Cappies, a lot of this might be reverse for you, but I, I picked up a Capricorn. So maybe I just picked up on a Capricorn Capricorn story. But for most of my Cappies, I think this is reversed. Um, but I got to read it with the way I feel it. So just, you know, don't get confused. So the Cappies that are trying to get away with something and communicating or trying to a new approach with this, even though they're pissed about it. I feel like they've already walked away from the other person once before. Like they were giving, like they were literally giving abundance elsewhere away from this connection. That's not cool. They're also trying to get, oh, oh, that's interesting. They're also trying to gather resources. Maybe that's why they're irritated. They're feeling like they have to put a lot of work into this. They're feeling like they don't have, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Why are they so worried about having enough? They feel like they don't have enough to provide. So it's like, this is a night that's constantly trying to gather resources so that they can provide it later. You know what I mean? But they're slow. <laughs> they're very slow. A lot of Virgo energy up in this too. Then we have the King of Swords, Aquarian energy could be Gemini Libra with the Four of Cups. Oof. A lot of Aqua energy too. Wow. It's a lot of different signs up in this. Um, coming forward to, to talk, to talk, to talk, to talk. But they've been in contemplation too long. Same four of cups energy attached to this person. Um, this is the waiting too long. This is like a healthy waiting or healthy contemplation. This is like, how long do you got to think about this? <laughs> how long do you have to ponder this before you just go and get what you want or go and offer what you want, right? Um, but this person is a thinker. I mean, that's why they're coming across as an Aquarian energy because you could be going with a straight up aqua. Um, but... Aquarians think a lot, a lot, a lot, too much sometimes. I love aquas. I do. I really do. Um, but they think a lot. Then we have the Page of Wands with the King of so almost a King of Swords, King of Wands, excuse me. The same King of Wands here, so double confirmation. And it's the same position. Leo energy could also be Aries or Sag or Gemini Libra Aquarius. Sending a message. They're going to send a message out. So Cappies, again, for the cap for the caps that are unhappy about the, the way they have to go about this, they're going to send out a message to the partner or the, to the person of their interest, but they're not happy about it. They're, they're doing it from, they're still doing it from a defensive place. Sorry about the barking, guys. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Give me a second. It's too distracting. Give me a minute. Ugh, I'm sorry about that, guys. Not my dogs. Anyway, so this Capricorn that's struggling with this, like struggling to come up with a different strategy plan, they're so they're so bitter about it. I'm not even gonna lie. And they're trying. They're gonna send out a message, but they're still doing it from a defensive place. His back is turned. Still doing it from a defensive place. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the rest. Of the line. I know it's gonna be a long reading, guys. 
<clears throat> so we have this Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Star in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse with the Chariot, and then another Knight. So let's just move these Knights over here because, I mean, I just got to be honest, it's the same person. And this is drama. This is indicating a lot of drama. A lot of drama and hostility. I feel it. This is going to be a conflict, guys. This is going to be a major conflict, so please be ready. It's like... They really were at a standstill. It was almost like they were outright refusing to even come forward. And it's almost like they couldn't take it anymore. But something triggered them. Something triggered them to come forward. So just look at that as this energy. They they were digging their heels in. Like I said, digging their heels in to come forward. Being I gotta be honest, being a little brat about it. Like this is very immature energy. It's like, are you gonna throw a tantrum? Because <laughs> you're not getting your way? I'm sorry. Like I said, most of this is going to be reversed for my Capricorns, but I'm, I'm picking up on a Capricorn, Capricorn story um, for sure. Ugh. So anyway, they were at a complete standstill. Something triggered them and they, they're bringing in the drama with the Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay. Star in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Chariot. Hope. They're losing hope. Losing hope. Losing hope. Losing faith. And I think that's part of their frustration. I don't think this person's used to losing, whatever losing is for them. Um, I just keep getting losing. They hate to lose. They're probably really competitive. Um, but they really don't have a lot of faith. But they're still trying because they want what they want. Is Yeah, this is someone who wants what they want. And they really get pissy when they don't get what they want. But they feel like they're going to be triumphant. With the chariot energy even though there's there's a lack of clarity here they're not really seeing the truth of the situation and that's because they're stuck in this like this immature low vibrational energy of like me 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 you know what i mean so they're not seeing the truth of the situation and the part that they probably played in this um but they really are losing hope and they, this is someone who really needs a lot of healing by the way a lot of healing but they still feel like they're gonna be triumphant so let's look at the chariot Use the Gilded Tarot deck. No, I'm use, mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I use the Gilded Tarot deck. Clar Clarify the Chariot. Sorry, guys. Clarify the Chariot for Capricorns. January. So I gotta take care of this. Okay, I think we're good. Clarify the Chariot for Capricorn, January seventh to the thirteenth. Clarify Chariot for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Chariot for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Chariot for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Chariot for Capricorn. January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Chariot for Capricorn. January... S Ooh. Mmm. A choice. A ch choice, a choice, a choice. There's that damn Knight of Pentacles in reverse again. <laughs> we have five cards out here now. Move that crystal. <laughs> oh, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, man. Do I have hiccups? Clarify the Chariot. I cannot have hiccups right now. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn. All right. Clarify chariot for Capricorn. January 7th to the 13th regarding love. Clarify the chariot for Capricorn. January 7th to the 13th. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so overall energy, Ace of Cups for the Chariot. So, like I said in the pre-shuffles, like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know what's up. But now you got an Ace of Cups. And I gotta be honest, some of you this is new. Like, a new person. This is crazy. Okay. So obviously this person's going to try to bring you back in. And I think they are going to offer you an Ace of Cups. But I don't know why. I just get this feeling that for some of you, you're also getting an Ace of Cups from another person.
this is crazy okay so like I said when I first started reading this I really felt like wow I think this is a Capricorn Capricorn energy that I'm feeling it doesn't mean that it doesn't apply to other people but so I started reading this energy as Capricorn the one that's being a little deceptive the one that's being pissy um, and I'm still gonna read it that way but if it is vice versa listen if it's vice versa and someone's acting that way to you Capricorn I think you have two options some of you do some of you it's this person and some of you have someone brand new no wonder the energy in the pre-shuffle was so confusing I was like wait no, wait what hopeless what <laughs> and it might like someone new in the sense of like newly romantic but it's probably someone you know um wow this is intense if it's not reversed for you if you're the Capricorn who's being a little bitter about the situation, trying to figure out how to go about this differently, um, you are going to offer them the Ace of Cups. But your person has another offer from someone else. Make sense? I uh, know. Confusing. They tell me to pray or paraphrase that. I probably did it in Yoda speak. So if you're the Capricorn who's being a little bitter about doing this differently, you're going to offer them an Ace of Cups and you're going to feel like it's going to work out. Your other person has another ace of cups offer from someone else that you don't know about maybe you do know about them but you most likely don't now if it's vice versa and someone's acting bitter towards you about trying to go about a different situation with you you have an offer of ace of cups from them and from someone else most likely wow intense okay let's look at the first two cards two of swords with temperance sagittarius energy what did i say i'm gonna make a choice and at first i was like choices like what choice would this person has to has to make if they're offering the ace of cups they don't have to decide anything the partner has to decide but i got the feeling of two 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 like it's not even about a choice of being with them or not it's like you're actually deciding between two people and you're calling in for temperance to try and like um balance this out but not only that but I, i'm getting grounding like you guys are yeah you guys are just trying to find a little bit of like calm thinking is like the best way to say that in this in this situation whoever is getting this offer from this bitter person and you're gonna make a choice because you don't you know you have to you gotta make a choice but temperance is gonna help with that all right then the next three we have nine of wands with the ace of swords in reverse with the nine of pentacles in reverse virgo energy this could also be capricorn taurus Hey, 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 stop it or of uh, aries leah sag so this is um that same bitter person i'll just call them bitter person bitter person that'll make it easier instead of having to say you know the one who's doing this that or the other <laughs> the bitter person because like i said i feel like for a lot of my cappies this is reversed so the bitter person <clears throat> wants to fight wants wants this again this is a fighter this person likes to fight i don't know why but they do they're they are willing to put in the work for this but look, this is still in reverse. They still have the same Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's still the same shit. Nothing's really changed in their mind. They still aren't seeing the truth. They still aren't see getting the clarity that they need to understand this situation. Then we have the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy, Ten of Wands in reverse, and then the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Ugh. This is about making a choice and commitment. This is making a choice and commitment, hands down. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, no, it's clearly a breakup. I see the Hierophant Reverse as a choice. You could either break up or you could try to work this out. But this choice, it's really, really overburdening somebody. Really overburdening somebody. And I gotta be, I feel like it's the person who's being confronted. I feel like it's the person who's being made the offer is really, really overburdened by this. It's almost like, it's almost even stopping them from being productive, which is kind of not cool, is what I'm getting. But let's look at this hair font really quick. There's, so, I know there's something there. I know it. And then we have two more primary cards, and then we'll do romance angel cards. Started by the hair font reverse for Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the hair font in reverse for my Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the hair font in reverse for my Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the hair font in reverse. Clarify the hair font in reverse. 
Clarify the Hierophant in Reverse for Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th. Oh God, I, oh, anxiety. Oh, I just got hit with someone's anxiety. I didn't mean to make you guys anxious. Clarify the Hierophant in Reverse. For Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Hierophant in Reverse. For Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Hierophant in Reverse. For Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. This is going to be rough. All right, this is going to be rough. But just bear with me, okay? Um, overall energy for the Hierophant Reverse, Page of Pentacles, Double Earth energy. So when I say this is gonna be rough, I'm just bracing you guys. Don't get don't get nervous. Um, depending on which story you're in, it, this could be good news. Um, if you are in the story where you know you're the Capricorn getting an offer from this bitter person and someone new. You will make a choice. Um, and it will be away from this bitter person. If you're the bitter person making an offer, if you're the bitter, if you're a bitter Capricorn making an offer to someone, most likely a Cancerian energy. There's a lot of water right there. Most likely Cancerian energy, a Cap another Earth like energy, Capricorn energy. Um, you know, they're 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 not gonna go for it. I'm just going to be honest. They're not going to go for it. Okay, so now let's get into it. I just wanted to let you guys know that ahead of time before I show you the cards because it's going to be painful. So I tried to do that tactfully. I'm trying to be more sensitive to you guys. So Page of Pentacles. This is this is a friend-like energy, which I, which I like. It is a friend-like energy, but it's about an offer being made. Okay, and this is, I got to say, remember, like... Remember when I said that there's two offers and one of them you are it's a new offer but it's from someone you know but you just haven't been romantically involved. Step in the friend. This is possibly a friend for most of you who are resonating with that storyline. These are the cards. Chariot, Cancerian energy. This is moving away. Running, oh, I feel running, running away. This is them saying no to the offer to the bitter person. Six of Cups, soulmate energy, memories. Um, with the paired with the Four of Pentacles, like unable to let go, unable to let go. This is someone who doesn't have side on the situation. This is the bitter person's energy. They can't let go of these feelings. They can't let go of what they know about this connection, even though they're not approaching it in the right way. Okay. Then we have the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. Could also be. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is this person's energy. Don't don't be mistaken about that. This is this person's energy. Um, they do want commitment, but like I said, they're going about it in such a tactless way. They're so bitter. They're so annoyed. They're so irritated that they had to do it this way that it's like, it doesn't even feel warm and fuzzy. You know what I mean? It's like, why would I accept that offer if you're even bitter offering it to me in the first place, right? Um, but this friend who steps in, I feel like there's something there. I really feel like there's something there. So we have two primary cards left. I know, I'm sorry, 33 minutes already. Strength in reverse, Leo energy, and then the six of pentacles. Balance, balance, balance. Someone's digging for strength. Really digging for strength. And also, oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. This bitter person, after you say no, they're going to try to let go of their control issues. This is a controlling person. This kind of person who's like, I need to do this my way. That's controlling controlling energy. That's really good. But there's also um, a sense of trying to dig deep to find your own balance after after this situation. But you're probably going to find it with this new person, whoever you have a new person. Um, not all of the Capricorns will have a new person, but it's like they are definitely choosing something being offered by someone else. Maybe it's just, you know, a friendly business offer. Maybe it's an offer of like, um, I don't know movement even it's like there's an offer being made by someone else and it's distracting away from the offer being made by the bitter person make sense cool all right let's do the strength in reverse and then we'll do romance angels clarify strength in reverse 
for Capricorn, January 7th, ooh, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Strength in Reverse for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Strength in Reverse for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th regarding love. Clarify Strength in Reverse. Ooh, I see Ten of Swords out here. Clarify Ten of Swords. <laughs> Clarify strength in reverse for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify strength in reverse for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify strength in reverse for Capricorn, January 7th to the 13th. Ooh. Ouch. Ugh. Okay, overall energy. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. Uh, they're going to talk to you about this again. Be prepared for that. After you say no, they're going to go in their little hole <laughs> or cave or wherever dark place, dark, bitter place they crawled out of um, to stir up some more drama and some more communication. And they're going to say, look. I've let go of my control issues, but I got to tell you, this the, it's almost like they're going to say how hurt they are that you said no, which is kind of like, well, that doesn't really make me feel better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, they, they're going to be persistent. They won't stop. They're not going to stop. This person's not going to stop. They know what they want. And they're going to get what they want. Chariot in reverse again. Cancerian energy. You're dealing with it. <laughs> strong, strong Cancer energy. Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, and then Four of Wands in reverse. So yeah, they're going to just talk to you about this and be like, you know, I know that you said no. I know that you don't want to move forward with this. Um, whoa. It's more than confusion. I'm getting a bubble. I don't know what that's about. Bubble. Like, I'm drawn to the bubbles in this image for some reason. And I keep thinking, like, they they were sheltering themselves off. They were in a they were they were living in a fantasy. I think that's exactly what they're gonna say. I was living in my own world. I was living in a fantasy. I didn't see this for what it I didn't see this for what it was. Um, I know it. Oh oh, getting all kinds of stuff. I know I betrayed you. I know this is my fault. I'm sorry that this is over. But I'm really hurting that that our union is now done. Um, let's balance this out. Some of you is just going to be closure, but this person wants you, and I mean wants you, and they're probably not going to stop until they see some kind of yes <laughs> of some kind. Oof. Okay, let's pull for romance angel cards. I don't know what this person did in the past, but they, they claim they're living in a fantasy, whatever fantasy that is. Any messages for Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th, regarding this spread? Any messages for Capricorns, January 7th to the 13th, regarding this spread? By the way, the going out and coming back, the going out and coming back, that's going to be dragged out for weeks. That's going to be dragged out for weeks. I feel like with this week, you are going to hear from them. Again, whether you're the one contacting out of a bitter place or you're the one who's receiving a message from a bitter place. Um, that's what's going to happen this week. The 7th to the 13th. That's what's going to happen. That message, that defensive message. Any messages for my Capricorns? January 7th to the 13th regarding this spread. Any messages for my Capricorns? January 7th to the 13th regarding this spread. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whatever the bitter Capricorn is, is watching this, is not going to like this. Any messages for Capricorn? Like I said, most of you, this is vice versa. Any messages for my Capricorn? January 7th to the 13th. Mm. Wow, I'm seeing a major story for a couple of you. Like... 
like actually seeing it like I'm seeing like flashes of stuff going down okay. and I can actually see the two different storylines right here any messages for my Capricorns January 7th to the 13th regarding this spread any messages from my Capricorns January 7th to the 13th regarding this spread Wow All right, so let's start here. So we have six cards total, and then we have one card for overall energy, which I will get to when the time comes. So I just want to do it in a way that's not going to confuse anybody, because like, like I said, I can sense both stuff here. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That's the explicit message. So when I saw this card come out, that's when I started seeing flashes of stuff. Both of you growing up had major family dysfunctions. Some of you, there were substance abuse, alcohol abuse, even physical violence, sexual violence as well. Um, others of you, oh my God, I like, I'm just getting like, like, a, well, so much rage, like a house full of rage for others of you. I don't even know what that's about. Just like a house full of rage. Like, I, I don't even know how to interpret a house full of rage. That'll resonate with you if it's your story. However, the bitter person through the years has not done any of the work to get to resolve these issues. The other person has done a lot of work, a lot of work. And that's why they know their worth. I can sense that they know their worth for sure. That that card, that card is not here. Uh, the know your worth card is not here. But oh, no, I guess it is. You deserve love. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. Um. But, you know, that's why they're also getting an offer from someone else. Not all of you Capricorns have two offers on the table, but most of you do, I'm sensing. Like, you already kind of have your sights on someone else or someone has their sights on you and you can sense it, even if nothing's really happened there yet. Um, and even then, that that second offer might come after the week of the 7th to the 13th. Because, like I said, all this stuff is going to be playing out over weeks through the course of the month. I feel it. Anyway. One of you did it, the other didn't. The bitter one has not. And that's something that they need to work on, clearly. Okay. Reconciliation. This is going to be offered. But like I said, it's very clear to me that <laughs> this offer is not going to be accepted. This reconciliation is not going to be accepted at the first time around. So this is just saying that reconciliation is very plausible. It's very possible if you want to have it. But like I said, it seems like a lot of you are just going to be like, nope. Crosswatcher or Capricorn, whoever's getting the offer... From the bitter person you're just like mm -mm. <laughs> and it's almost like you can tell that this person hasn't worked on their shit so because they're still bitter they're still angry they're immature and it's like why would i re-enter this you're not even excited about offering me this offer right and that's because you know you deserve love that's why you're not taking it you're lovable this is a lesson that the, uh, the the bitter person has to learn as well they have to learn to love themselves you can't teach that for them that's only something we can teach ourselves People can inspire us to get there, absolutely. But we can't change people. We can't. That's a hard lesson that some people never learn. You can't change people. If they don't have self-love, you can't keep giving them your love in hopes that that's enough for them and then you deplete your own resources and they don't give you that love anyway in return. No. Mm -mm. Not working that way. All right. No. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. For that second offer, Cappies, get ready. I know, this is going to be crazy. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You know it. You know it. And I know already, I already can already feel the comments. Well, can't this person come back renewed? It's very clear they have not changed. <laughs> the cards don't lie. I see it. I see it. For whoever's resonating with this, they have not changed. That's why Healing Family Issues came out. That's why they're still bitter. That's why they're still angry. That's why they're literally bringing drama into your life because all they care about is what they want, not what they actually need to fix themselves to have a solid relationship. No. Mm -mm. Wow, so this video is probably going to be an hour. <laughs> Got really into this one. Um, no, this is a new person. Like I said, I, I sensed it. Again, it's only for the Capricorns that have the two offers. If you don't have a second offer, this this part of the story is not for you. Okay? We, it's all energy, guys. It's just people have free will. 
and everyone's in a different place in their life. So some people are ahead of this energy, some are right here, some are behind this energy. You got me? And because of free will and other different soul contracts that some people obviously don't have, other options come into play even though it's the same energy. You understand? Okay. And with this new person? Mm, sex, basically. <laughs> Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, there's a lot of passion right there. That feels really good. That feels so good. I think you had passion with this person too. I think the bitter person who's approaching this person, there is a lot of passion there. There is. And I feel that too. There's a lot. So that goes both ways. That's so funny. That just like fell out, that flew out of my hand. Um, but this is definitely, I, I feel this with a new person too. And I feel it like, it's like, just like the energies right this is like the bitter person it's like it's a little oppressive it's like i kind of want to push that away but it's like that ace of cups is like screaming and it just all i sense off of it is like is like really uh, excitement and adrenaline and love but i do sense that that lusty kind of energy which feels great i know your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment don't be surprised if this bitter person even suggests leveling up the relationship. Um, Cause I mean, we do have the hair font here. It's about making a choice and you made the choice. You made the choice. Um, but don't be surprised if they offer a little token and depending on where you guys were, like before things went awry, you know, maybe it is gonna be a ring of a proposal, but the answer is really clear. Look at that, the back is turned, they're gone, they're gone. Um, but I actually feel like this is like with the new person. I feel like once this person comes in and gives that message and you say no, things are going to jump off with this new person okay, quicker than you really anticipate. Oh. Started in a new file. Damn it. Because I went on too long. And I was just about to finish too. All right, this is the overall energy worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play. Don't worry about the worth waiting for. Forget that. The message is divine timing is at play here. Things are supposed to happen a certain way. That's what this card is saying. Like, even though this person's coming in bitter as they shouldn't, and you say no, and they're hurt, and they're going to reach out again, and there might be a new person that you might run off into the sunset with, and then you're thinking, well, maybe I should have ended up with that person. Don't question any of it. Divine timing. Everything in perfect timing. Okay? So just go with what feels right. And what feels right to you, apparently, is to not take that offer. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Um, so that's it, guys. And like I said, Caps, I feel like you guys, most of my Capricorns, it's vice versa, where you're the ones getting the offer. But I definitely, I initially send some Capricorns, most likely with another Earth sign or another Capricorn energy, is very bitter. Very bitter coming in to make the offer. So you know who you are in the story. All right? It is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Patreon on the Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.